Greetings, Christ the King family, and welcome to our Monday devotion. Um, I, I We're continuing on with our questions um, this week, and thank you for those of you who have commented or uh, who are discussing this in small groups. Um, I look forward to hearing more stories from people. And today, I want you to think about um, your cloud of witnesses or people who are influential in your faith life. Um, the phrase cloud of witnesses comes from Hebrews 12, where the first verse says, therefore, since we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses. Let us also lay aside every weight and the sin that clings so closely, and let us run with perseverance the race that is set before us, looking to Jesus, the pioneer and perfecter of faith, who, for the sake of the joy that was set before him, endured the cross, disregarding its shame, and has taken his seat at the right hand of the throne of God. One of the things we talk about in children and youth ministry um, is that uh, an indicator of a child staying active in church into adulthood um, is if they have five adults who are active in their faith lives um, as children and adults. Now, these studies were pre-COVID. The landscape of ministry has changed quite a bit, and I'm interested to see what we learn as we go forward with that. But using this, um, it's easy for many of us to look back at our own faith lives and sort of see who our five people were. If we are people who grew up in church, we might um, remember the names of at least five. Maybe you had many more than five. Um, and when we think about those people, they're not always our pastor. Our pastor may have been very influential um, in our faith lives. Um, they may not always be the paid youth director. Um, maybe you were like my church growing up and you didn't even have a paid youth director. Um, and maybe it was the lady who ran the altar guild, um, or maybe it was um, the person who stoically taught Sunday school from fifth grade until you graduated high school because no one else would teach your class. Thanks, Miss Phyllis. We really appreciated it. Um, but whatever it looked like for you, uh, I'd love to hear about the people who were influential in your faith life and why were they influential. Um, and as you're thinking about the people who influenced you and why they influenced your faith, I'd love for you to be thinking about how you influence the faith of others. Um, you influence the faith of young people uh, when you interact with them. In church. Uh, you influence the faith of um, each other when you encourage each other, when you show up for each other. Um, you encourage the faith of the staff um, and of your clergy when you are um, encouraging, when you check in on us. Uh, we, uh, we appreciate that. We love that. Um, and we have to have our faith lives encouraged too. So we appreciate when you do things like that. Um, and so thinking about who was influential in your own life, but also how are you influencing the faith life of others? Because none of us do this alone. And so let's think about these influences this week, and I'd love to hear some of your stories. Let's pray together. God, uh, we are thankful for the influences of our cloud of witnesses. Um, we're thankful for the influence of your son, Jesus. And we pray that each day we can figure out how to be a little more like you. We pray all these things in his name. Amen. Have a great week, everyone. Bye.